Onivia. League of Legends highlights, powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on esports. For KT, the Talia holds a lot of power in her kit and can potentially outpath and outplay. But if things don't go her way, we know that Alistair LeBlanc play. Nothing has come up from either side. I got really one to stop Rookie from freezing, who's fr frozen the wave, as you can see, pretty well. Now in the mid lane. Cal flashing off to the side, trying to get himself away with a disdain. But the chains are coming in. Ning's looking to finish this one off. Yukal taking very low, down to zero, and first bloods over to Rookie. Yep, notice how Rookie does not use his ultimate for more burst damage. Right. Right. Have at it then, because the setup has been yes, laid. Sir. Two and a half thousand health left. Oh, they're going! Now the Braum in some trouble. Mata trying to get himself away. Glacial Fissure gonna be used to disengage. Mata still in a lot of trouble. Taken down. IDP able to find kill number one. TP gonna be channeled here. It does go all the way through. The Shy makes his way into the fight, but it's already in HP. The Shy making his way down to the fight. Remember the Scion ulti not available for this one. Ning takes down Shelly. Grabs himself the 100 gold. Smeb goes into the ulti. Ning could just jump over the wall to get himself away here. We'll see if they decide to go after this one any further. Over the wall they go. Lambda Spike going to be used, but there you go. That's how you catch yourself a big one. As now we're going to see Rookie have to jump himself away too. Absolutely beautiful eye. Uh, so at least they will retain it. And now he's trying to make a play on top side. Charging in with that Scion ultimate, but it's going to be TP coming in from KT to try to turn this fight around. Smeb is very low on mana. Keep that in mind. The Shy is still going to be on the front line trying to soak up damage. He knows he's dead. Goes into the passive form and immediately runs for farm. Seems like mines if on the back burner, if nothing else. The score moves his way towards the top side, looking for a bigger kind of a play. Goes out the Weaver's wall. They know the Scion doesn't have flash this time. The Shy had to use it the last time around. As there goes the seismic shove. It's going to be interrupted by the ulti. Shy doing a good job so far, but is it going to be good enough? I do not think so. Demonic Ascension going to need to go off to find the kill there as the Shy will finally fall. And Smeb looks to get himself away, never move, to try to pull that rampaging off the back of that because there's so much time spent by KT Wolster and invested in the top lane. The Shy wants to show up. Smeb's going to be taken down to half. Beautiful burst from Rook to keep him away. And that means IG's able to find themselves the Drake. Can KT make anything happen here? Or is this IG's fight? Fallon's going to be looking to initiate very, very far forward. And Smeb's going to be in the back line, nearly taken down, but instead going to be kept alive. Demonic Ascension making sure he stays healthy and no play will come of it. All right, we did get a full reset. Rookie's gone back to heal, so in the end, the splash is traded with the support, but they're going in. It's going to be a big team fight here. The Shy's jumping into the back line, seeing if maybe he can find some damage on the score. He gets himself away for now, but Mata's going to be the first one killing the fight overall. Rookie jumps back in. Ooh. Going to be taking low once more. Lance with Spike goes down. Yukao looking to find somebody if he can. He's trying to get away. The Harpoon won't find him. Shy's still going to be off to the side, tanking everything up. KT's so low, looking to get themselves out. Over to the Baron, knowing that IG have allocated everyone to the the bottom side of the map and this might force a stop to the reset and the time but they won't be able to find enough damage to get the execute the shy barely gets himself away pops the shield to stay safe score does a nice wall keeping baolan isolated from the rest of the team he throws him back with a seismic shove and takes down that support beautiful wall there from score to cut off baolan and ensure that they have the 5v4 advantage now on this push on mid. Jackie Love is very far forward, throws out the feather. Trying to go in here as well. KT has the 5v4 advantage, but health bars at half on some critical members means it might not be as important as it looks. Shy's gonna take some damage. Rookie looks to go in, does get the passive pop. Shy's still gonna be soaking. Group comes down, damage goes through. Jackie's able to find two Jackie big Love! Kills. Jackie Love just found everybody, and that's gonna be a triple for IG. They're gonna find everyone. It's KT Ace. That is insane! He just runs right up to the front line! That IG were able to win. Excellent positioning from Jackie Love, who was questioned by all sides. China, Korea, and around the world will fall. Inhibitor now under siege. IG with victory in their eyes. The crowd supporting them. You can hear the chance for IG as the first inhibitor of the game goes the down. Elder Dragon buff that they return to the base. This is why I pointed it out earlier, why it was so important that last elemental died after 29 minutes. It had an Exus turret standing in their way as well as the oh. entirety of KT Rolster. But Smed loses two thirds of his health rather quickly. Scores gonna do- To the wind and try and force that fight. IG waiting. 
It's Baron about to be ready. It's the Shy going in. Score getting himself back. Shy gonna be tanking up on the front line. Stunned up. Juggle back. Seismic shove right back into the lines. The KG Walter. They're able to find a massive fear. Shy's gonna be taken down. Balon's gonna be frontlining now. Shy trying to find the passive damage. Score looks to get himself away. Goes into the stasis. Keeps himself alive for now. Trying to get back. Mata also gonna be barely living now. Seismic shove looking for Jackie Love. Can't quite find it. It's Jackie grabbing the kill on the spam. It's Jackie looking to find the kill to Yukal. It's Jackie who can't quite get him. And KT hobbles away. But so many different states at the end of the game. The Baron just dies. Bit of taking down the Korean number one seed. The Shy wants to go forward. Rookie jumps in, finds a little bit of damage. IG going to be kept back for now. The Weaver's Wall goes in. It's going to be Jackie Love eating some shots from death, but Score looks to get himself away. Nick yeah. finds the auto attack, and Score is gone. This should be it. Ming's able to grab that kill, and that means the fight continues even further forward. See if maybe they can find something else. It's Lamb's fight, giving a Victor's gaming topped off. They're going to be just fine. Death really gets the away. Rookie's got the chain. KT Rolster has fallen. And Invictus Gaming will do what has not been done since 2014. They will eliminate the Korean first seed. And they will move on to the semifinals. They've done it. Invictus Gaming take down one of the tournament favorites, an all-star team here put together. And with big plays from every single member, every single LPL fan was waiting to see.